Uh, joining us now, our political analyst, former Illinois Republican Party chair, Pat Brady, and also former Alderman Leslie Hairston. Let's start with Doug Emhoff, the husband of Kamala Harris. Pat, we'll go to you first on this because this is sort of the non-political side of getting to know Kamala Harris, which was part of the mission for this uh, convention to begin with. Yeah, the Republicans, I think, did that fairly effectively uh, a month or so ago up in, in, in Milwaukee where they did the same kind of thing. They tell the grandpa stories or the auntie stories or whatever story and personalize her. Again, a lot of people don't really know her. And this next three days or three nights are going to be, I think, telling the story. So when the, uh, they know a lot more about her. Now, we're understanding that they are presenting Kamala Harris as the anchor of the family. Leslie, what do you think of that strategy, that she is the anchor, especially in a speech coming from her husband? Well, I think it's great that he recognizes her role and, um, in, in the family, and she's a, she's a strong woman, um, and I think he's right. <laughs> yeah. but these, these are so effective, though, politically, because it does humanize you, you see people in the Senate or in these things. You don't really know much about them, right. and that's the purpose of this, right? He's going to say, I know her better than anybody, and this is what she's about. And I think that, that goes a long way with voters because they want to vote for somebody they like and somebody they know and somebody that might be having the same experiences they're having with their family or things like that. So I think these are very powerful and effective presentations. Like last night with President Joe Biden, his daughter speaking and yeah. right there embracing and him tearing up as he took the stage, that family connection, and of course with his wife as well. What do we expect to hear from J.B. Pritzker tonight? This could be interesting, right? That's, I, I, I think J.B. is going to be very, very interesting. I think he's going to be a lot of fun to watch. Mm -hmm. um, I think he is happy that the convention is here. Um, in the state of Illinois. I mm -hmm. think he's happy to be here. He doesn't have to worry about uh, being vice president anymore. You know, he can relax a little bit. You know and what, though, too? Then he's a great bomb thrower. Yeah, and, and, and <laughs> he is. He is an effective bomb thrower. And he, and he does it with a smile on his face. That's what makes it so effective. Yeah, he tangles with uh, former President oh, Trump quite he, a bit. He yeah. gets in Trump's head better than anybody. He'll be fine. And, and you know what? Because I sat next to him. Uh, at one of the earlier conventions and I mean he's just he's got a great sense of humor and so I'm looking forward to see what he has to say today. We did hear yesterday when someone asked him though about a third term that started bubbling up because it wasn't it, it seems like there were indications that could be a possibility well, so and that's, yeah and, and it's a stage. great audience to do it with. Yeah we'll see right. tonight. Thank Remember, you. Remember all week CBS News Chicago is your convention headquarters. Stay with us for continuing coverage right here on CBS Chicago. And in addition to our on-air coverage, also we are live on our stream, CBS News Chicago, with everything DNC all week long, each night starting at 8 o'clock.